Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Clovis Oncology. Looks like it's starting to take off again. Uh, I believe I've talked about this once or twice on the channel. I'll have to uh, find those and link those in the description as well. Uh, but you can see what they have done over the uh, last year was at uh, $5.30 and down about 40% in the uh, last year. <clears throat> They're actually green in the past three months. Um, almost traded kind of flat, started there, took a dip, and went back up. Here would have been a good buying opportunity. In the uh, last month, it's up over 334%. That's just crazy. In the past week, up over 17%. And here's a look at today, up over 46%. So even then, here would have been a good buying opportunity. I uh, missed this one. I've watched it from time to time and then lost interest. Um, but they're a biopharmaceutical. Those can just go up and down like a yo-yo, as I just showed you. Uh, so if you're in these, I would definitely set your alerts and your stops, whatever you got to do to protect yourself. They engage in the acquisition, development, and commercialization of innovative anti-cancer agents. So a lot of these biopharmaceuticals that are in cancer, they'll uh, release something and they'll start going up. And then they will release some other news and they'll start going down. So I mean... If they release the news and it doesn't hit by a certain date or it just kind of falls apart, so does the uh, stock for uh, more or less. Um, but uh, this one is uh, rather interesting in uh, prostate cancer and a couple of different um, therapies. But uh, found in 2009, $453 million market cap, high today of 325 low of 222 52-week high of 578 and a low of $0.58. Cents. So... <laughs> kind of crazy if you did, did an option on that one going down, uh, you'd made a fortune. Average volume on this one, a 20.92 million, and uh, volume here today is 66.44, so that's probably going to increase in regards to uh, what they got going on. Next earnings expected on August 3rd. And here on uh, Microsoft Bing, currently showing it as a hold with a one-year price target of uh, three. It could fall back down. It could go back up. So it's hard to say on this one. So just going to have to watch it and be careful on this one. Uh, Clovis Oncology stock gains as shareholders reject a reverse stock split. And as you can see, this is just uh, out today. So shareholders have decided to reject a proposal for a reverse split of the company shares. They also rejected a proposal to exchange one share of Clovis stock for each uh, seven shares of the uh, name that they uh, currently own. Clovis uh, looks poised to submit existing uh, data on its uh, recuperib drug to an FDA uh, panel rather than obtain uh, new data on the treatment. Stock is raising 5% in the early trading after uh, Clovis shareholders decided to reject a proposal of the reverse split of the company's shares. Drug makers, uh, shareholders uh, voted on proposals within the framework of the uh, annual meeting. Uh, under the proposal of uh, Clovis shareholders, uh, would have received one share of Clovis stock for each seven shares of the stock that they currently owned. More shares were voted in favor of the proposal than against it. So, uh, again, another reason why it's uh, running up. So, the uh, number of authorized shares of the company's common stock is uh, 200 million to uh, 57 million 142 thousand. So, quite a difference. Yet the initiative also failed that uh, because the majority of the shareholders did not support it. Why Clovis Oncology shares uh, jumped 158.9% in June, and this was just out yesterday. So they specialized in solid tumor therapies. Uh, saw shares skyrocket 158.9% in June. The stock closed at 0.6953 on May 31st and dropped to 0.6367 on June 2nd. Hit a high of the month of 241 on June 21st. So 
If you'd have got in there and got out, you'd made some pretty good money or kept it. It's actually above that uh, right now. So the uh, volatile stock has a 52-week low of 0 0.5810 and a high of 5.92. So the main reasons the uh, rise in the month were uh, two uh, positive announcements uh, regarding trials of its therapies. The only marked therapy said that a phase three Athena trial uh, showed it was effective as a maintenance uh, monotherapy to uh, flight advanced or to fight advanced ovarian cancer in patients uh, who previously responded to chemotherapy. So, like I said, whenever they uh, do some testing and they show some positive results, these stocks just run crazy. So, but they can also drop just as fast as they go up. So there was a less tangible uh, reason for Clovis Rise. Uh, there were rumors of a potential buyout of the company by pharmaceutical giant uh, Bristol Myers Squibb. Their uh, ticker is BMY. I used to have some shares of them uh, with which uh, Clovis already has several clinical partnerships. So uh, a lot of the uh, pharmaceuticals I think have partnerships uh, behind the scenes and some uh, talk about them and um, so it's just kind of an interesting uh, world, interesting investments as pharmaceuticals. In the first quarter, the company reported revenue of $34.2 million, all from Rubreca, uh, which has been approved uh, for adults with primary recurrent epithelial ovarian fallopian tube and peritoneal uh, cancer. Uh, however, the uh, company also had a net loss of $60.2 million, or $0.44 cents per share. Clovis could uh, pay off as an investment, uh, but that will hinge on the uh, broadening uses of Rubreca and for Clovis to uh, continue to see solid results studies. FDA is being uh, cautious uh, regarding Rubreca. That's another thing you have to uh, keep in mind is the FDA getting uh, some of these approved. And when they're cautious, the stock stays at a hold or sometimes goes down. So just another thing to watch. Just too many variables for to uh, watch on some of these. But uh, you can make some money if you do it, right? So why buying Clovis Oncology right now might be a smart move. And this is just dated on the uh, 6th. So the price was lower on Tuesday. The uh, fifth dropping minus 15.44% uh, below its previous close. And there kind of goes over some ratings. We'll go over some more here at the uh, end. Uh, why Clovis Oncology stock is taking a step backwards today. And this is dated on the 7th. So again, they're a small cap cancer company, CLVS. Having a rather uh, volatile session today, the uh, drug maker shares uh, dropped by as much as 12.8% immediately out of the gate this morning, uh, but have since uh, clawed their way back as of 11.05 a.m. Eastern. Thursday morning, uh, Clovis stock was only down 2%. The uh, move against the broader upward uh, trend in uh, biotech today. Yesterday, the company filed an 8K with the SEC, saying the FDA is uh, recommending that Clovis wait for more mature overall survival data before applying for a label expansion for its ovarian cancer drug uh, re Rucaparib, I think that's how you say it, Rucaparib, that's how I'm going to say it, as a first-line maintenance treatment. So, like I said, good news one day, bad news tomorrow goes up and down. So, drug approach, approaching a likely buyout. Clovis is seeing a squeeze to infinity. And this one could be the next squeeze, so... Uh, they don't want the uh, reverse, so might see this one in the uh, meme stocks as well. So currently as a hold here on uh, MSN Money with a $3 price ticket. So, But that's it for uh, Clovis. If you have Clovis, go ahead and list that in the uh, comments along with your cost bases and the other information you'd like to share. And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing. And if there's any other uh, pharmaceutical ones you want me to take a look at, I'd be happy to take a look at those and uh, do a video or any stock in general. So, again, this is Jay Money, Falling Ford Financial. 
Happy trading, happy investing. Stay green. Cheers.